<laughs> like this, okay? <laughs> if they carry on to flee, <laughs> either <laughs> well, you have to smile. That was a good sprint from you. Yeah, I mean, uh, we had the plan to go for Patrick Konrad, um, and I was actually doing a lead out for him, and then he got in the crash, uh, which was a bit unclear. But I, I screamed in the radio, "Where are you? Where are you?" And then I heard from the DS that he was unfortunately in the crash, and uh, I thought, "Let's go for it." Then uh, I mean, I spent some energy already, but I was in good position because of that. And then in the sprint, I just had the, the legs to, yeah, to go for it. And uh, I mean, position was all right. I was, I think, like 25th coming into the straight. But I managed to uh, follow some good wheels and uh, luckily I had the legs. And how was it to be there seeing uh, Roglic, uh, the world champion, Emko Evenepoel, just beside you, fighting yeah. with them? <laughs> Not bad. I mean, in the, in the heat of the moment, I had no clue who it were. Uh, I was just focusing on my own line and my own sprint but um no now uh, it's it's cool to uh, finish on the podium with those two guys that's like not a common podium so uh, yeah i'm happy yeah you said on the podium with these two guys on a really hard sprint what does it mean about your shape and maybe about what you can hope for the week or for, for after even i mean coming into it i i felt good but i didn't know if i actually were good uh did a couple of good training weeks actually here in girona um but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not a proper climber, so I don't see myself doing anything in the GC. But maybe there'll, there'll be an opportunity in day four or six to get in a break. And of course, the last day in Barcelona. Thank you, Luke. Well done. Thank you.